Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077 update 2.0. We've got the Phantom Liberty DLC coming out soon, but for now, let's check out some of the new additions and tweaks and changes. I think this is kind of like a rough light remaster, remake type thing of this from the ground up. See a lot of new uh, 3D models for like Johnny Silverhand and things like that. First up, let's take a look at the graphic settings. I think we're pretty much maxed out. I've got DLSS off. DLAA is on for that deep learning anti-aliasing with AI. Uh, fidelity effects off, uh, motion blur, film grain off, uh, but everything else should be on maximum. We're on psycho and yeah, ray tracing on psycho as well. So everything is maxed out. We're playing 1440p, DLSS off. I think the driving models had a big pass on it as well. It, people said it feels a bit more like GTA 5's handling, which eh, not really a fan of GTA 5's. I prefer GTA 4's more realistic, heavy feel. But that's down to personal preference. We're in our apartment here. Let's bring up our FPS. We're definitely worse FPS than I was before. I was getting like 50 FPS before with these same settings. Well, let's go downstairs anyway. Get out onto the street and call in our car. There she is. It's been a while. Yo, why is that mech in the middle of the road? What the heck's going on there? Let's try the driving. Yeah, it's definitely feel a bit more arcadey than I remember. A little bit quicker to turn. It's not too bad. That's actually okay. We can slide it around corners okay. Okay, first up, let's try and get our FPS up a little bit. So let's turn that back on. Now we're down on the street. And let's try with the DLSS. We don't want to turn settings down because it looks amazing. So what we will do is go to our DLSS here. And we will try quality and see what that gives us. Yeah, that's more like it. It's amazing how that AI does that i don't even know it's some kind of witchcraft man oh my god that is insane yeah staying stable frame timing is okay we're not having any hiccups no hitches but to be fair i didn't in the old builds uh even since launch i had an okay experience I couldn't really fault it on my PC, and I was even when I was running my old PC, the 2070 Super, and a 3900X. We're now running the 3090 Ti and a 5800X 3D, and uh, no complaints. Temperatures are okay as well. They're in the in the happy mid 70s. Whoa, dudes! Well, that's something new. I've not seen that before. What the heck? Are they after me or what? No, I think that's just a random thing. I have never seen that before. I'm also beginning to think if I had DLSS on the last time I played this and I'm kind of confused myself because this is kind of the performance I remember. All right, let's go speak to Johnny. It's, uh, I think his model's changed, so it'll be interesting to see what his 3D model looks like. Ooh, that's not what I expected. Sell those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Out oh, there we go. Parks, that was a little bit awkward. Underground clubs had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. Hmm. Old so tapes could be worth you're something. Saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town. Ooh, has my heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist after all these years? Hmm. You know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Okay, Johnny. Thank you. I will head to the club. Just through here. Um... 
Johnny, I'm pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. God damn it. Point for the other team, huh? What now, Johnny? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. I'm gonna talk to this guy then, I guess. Looking for some samurai tapes. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. I missed the Ray reconstruction. Maybe that'll make the game look even better. Uh, might need to do a quick save and back out to the menu to turn this one on though, I think. So let me just do a quick save and I will jump back in. Okay, so it looks like we've got to enable this path tracing technology preview to enable that setting. So let's go ahead and enable that. Go back up and then we should be able to enable that. Okay. Let's apply. And we'll continue. Load back in. So it definitely don't run as good. That's for sure. Probably because it's using the path tracing and not ray tracing. And we are still on quality DLSS. So we do have DLAA turned off now. So... Oof. Yeah, this is pretty pretty heavy. I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? That character we skin looks better Artesian though. Or is that just me? Uridine stuff, tainted overlord. Looks like there's more Samurai? depth in the shadows, wrinkles. <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in. You name it, we got it. Death to Corpos. Death to Corpos. I don't know. I'm going to talk to Johnny now, see what he looks like. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. Oh, yeah, he looks better. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy I think he even looks better than before. That's setting change. He a tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. Nice, we completed a Johnny side quest. Excuse me, guys. We're just heading through. Going to race the car around, see what the FPS is like at a fast pace. If I can find the road, that is. Yeah, there we go. Right. Let's race around this street a little bit. See if we can get that FPS to deal. I think it looks cleaner. I think it does. Image looks a lot cleaner. A lot more... real looking. Less of an artifact, kind of, with ray tracing. The path tracing is a lot... Yeah, I think it's a lot cleaner looking than ray tracing. I think that's what it is. Colours are popping more. The, the models are popping more. It's damn heavy, though, on the performance. Kind of cuts us back down to if we didn't have the LSS on. But it sure as hell do look good. Not really dipping at the moment, racing around these streets. Not got any heavy weather effects going on right now, either. So let's head uh, to the next place. Let me turn around. I'm going the wrong way now. Wait, does this thing wheelie? Oh, damn, it does. <laughs> Whoa, I nearly hit a wall. Okay, let's turn it off. Uh, numbers are distracting me. Like a glove. Okay, so this is a main story. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. Thought I'd just do a side quest and uh, see performance. So we definitely... That new NVIDIA and Ray Trace tech is really impressive. It's definitely improved the image. 
but you do get a decrease in FPS with the path tracing reconstruction. But it do be looking good. Can't wait till it rains and see some weather effects and nighttime with this new path tracing ray trace reconstruction setting on. But now though, let me know your thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077 2.0. Are you looking forward to Phantom Liberty? Probably gonna grab it and give that a play and stream. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching. And I'll see you peeps next time. Gonna walk down the street, I think. And take it all in.